Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a fantastic day. You're making some great profits. But if you're not in profitable trades, make sure you're managing that risk. So a while ago, I did an update on the summer plan challenge. I was working with the five percenters and I was going to really focus and dedicate my time to really try and get through that sort of first level of the actual challenge. But after reflecting on it, and I did put a lot of effort into try and get there, I just don't enjoy doing it. I just literally don't like the plan itself. I don't like some of the rules and parameters and it's really distracting from my FTMO challenge and therefore I'm seeing a negative impact on that. So I've decided to quit the five percenters. Now as a company, I think they're fantastic. I think they do a lot of great things with the consistency rules. I think they do a lot of things to actually get people to, to scale up over a period of time rather than just going in straight in with a massive account and therefore potentially getting a lot of the, the fear and greed coming into it and therefore really the psychology effects in the trading. So I think they're a great company in that side of it. But for me, it just wasn't working at all. And I know from speaking with a lot of people over the past few weeks, they're having the same sort of challenges that they've sort of got to level one or level two. And it's just a big grind and grind and grind and there's sort of no end in sight. So for me, I'd rather just quit, walk away and focus on the great things in my trading, the funded accounts that I've got and working with my Forex funds to get funded on that one as well. Because again, the same risk parameters and same trading style works for the same as FTMO. So I think one of the biggest reasons why I didn't really gel with the five percenters was I wasn't able to trade the markets that I normally trade on FTMO. So really looking at gold and indices. And although Forex had been pretty good, I just wasn't able to get in the groove, just literally couldn't get my mojo back to trade Forex. And again, in the past, I've done well on Forex and I can't see the reason why it can't happen. But for whatever reason, I just wasn't feeling on their platform, feeling on their parameters and just able to get into the groove. So like I said, it's always best to call it quits, cut your losses and move on. But luckily it was a free challenge. It hasn't actually cost me any money. It was a good learning curve, good exercise. And again, I know that where I need to put my attention and my focus and get my mindset right to be able to get the right profits rather than again, diluting it by going across too many challenges, too many different platforms, too many different rule parameters and just confusing myself. So I just wanted to give a quick update on where I am with the five percenters. I'm a bit disappointed it didn't work out, but as always, we can't be successful and 100% on every single thing we do. We've got to take the positives from it, all the negatives, and move forward in the right direction. So let me know in the comments below if you're still sticking with the summer challenge or looking to do the bootcamp challenge, or what other platforms you're dealing with and doing challenges at the moment. And as always, see you again in the next video. Cheers everyone.